It's rolling. All right. Twizzle. So I can't tie my own bows. Clearly. I can tie my shoelaces when I'm looking at them. Thank you. Okay. Hi everyone, welcome to Hedgehog Hollow Happy Hour. This week, Greg has chosen the gel press, which is great because I'm no gel press expert. However, I did do one video a while back, top right hand corner, thank you. Thanks, Hi. Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> um, a while back, which is kind of a beginner's video. So I know the basics of the gel press and the girls did gel press um, classes at Creativation. So I gleaned some information out of Hannah today and I'm gonna pass some of that on to Greg. And in general, we're just gonna kind of play around. We're gonna create some papers today and then we'll do a Hedgehog Hollow Happy Hour part two where we use those papers and put them into projects. But I did grab some of the papers that they created in their Creativation classes. So. Sorry. So we can Sorry, you go carry through on. those first. So the idea of the gel press is you create your basic, your own pattern papers that you can use in collages, in cards, in... You were right over there, dear. Yeah. <laughs> Good. It's very disconcerting. Maybe. But you did it up like, I don't know, tight. Um, you can use it in mixed media projects. You can use it in all sorts of things. So this is one, I can't remember who made whose. I couldn't actually find Kaya's one. I think these are all pretty much Hannah's ones. She did a class, it was all about the round gel press. And she used the new Carabella Studio pretty. stamps that I have here too. Um, Look, it's pretty. And Sorry. then on the other side. Oh yeah, it's also pretty on that side. Bubble wrap. Is that what we're doing? Is that why there's bubble wrap over there? That's why there? there's bubble wrap. Okay. Um, so we also have a lot of tools on the table, so we'll go through all the tools that I've picked out as well. Cool. Um, that's some of the Carabella Studio stamps. You can use stamps on your um, gel press too. And that's bubble, big bubble wrap big with bubble a leaf. Big bubble wrap with a leaf, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Um, you can use stencils on your gel press. You can use alcohol inks on your gel press, which I didn't know until Hannah told me today. Can I ask a question? No, because it might not be able to answer. What's a gel press? Okay, so gel presses come in different shapes, sizes, all those kinds of things. They pretty much will come the same, but apparently you used to make them out of gelatin. You used to have to keep them in the fridge and they didn't last very long. So I was informed. Well, they're actually made of jelly. Well, they used to be. Did you eat them? No. Can you eat that one? No, but they now last forever as long as you look after them. So that's a gel press. Okay. Just like a, just a wobbly jelly thing. Yeah. Okay, what do you do? Well, you'll find that out. Oh. So I have a square one. I have a circular one. You can also get small ones, like hexagon ones and um, brown ones. I also learned from Hannah today, you can use them in your misty like stamps. So you can create patterns with them and then stamp with them. These are the Ranger Dilutions ones. Look, I even keep them in their proper mm. team. Very organized. Um, are these are texture combs, so you can create textures. <laughs> so you can create <laughs> textures on your gel plate. So that's like a mini oh, one like a... that you can use as a stamp. Do you have to keep them in this plastic stuff? Apparently it helps. Helps what? Keep it like nice and flat and in good condition. See, I listen to storage advice. See through? Yeah. <laughs> it's really weird. And then I have like a long one. I don't know if you can even see it because your camera can just look straight through it. Like a wobbly jelly thing. And then I have a big one. Uh -huh. So. Everything's transparent, which makes it really difficult to like Work with. pick things up and move things around because it's all. So like these see. are also transparent, but they have like grooves, and then these have zigzaggy Honey, grooves. Well, I it's don't like know. holding up a piece of glass. Well, you can just about see. This have zigzaggy grooves, and this one has teeth. Mm-hmm. Well, how do I show yeah, that I to people? Carry on. I was trying to explain it verbally as opposed to visually. 
So they create texture, then you have these kind of silicone stylus tools that you can draw. So when you put the paint in, you can, you know, draw hearts. I've still got and... no idea what we're doing or how any of this works. I've got some wibbly wobbly jelly stuff. I've got some weird, not quite paintbrush paintbrushes. Are these like $60 each, like the other paintbrushes? No. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> People that have seen us bickering before might get that one. You have loads of brayers. Rollers. Brayers. Rollers. Brayers. They're rollers. They're called brayers. What's the difference between a brayer and a roller? When I'm painting a wall with one of those, I call it a roller because it rolls, doesn't it? Well, these are called brayers. What's the difference between a roller a bowler? <laughs> okay. How many glasses of wine have you had? Only two. This is a brayer. You've mentioned that. And you get, again, they come in different sizes. I different... can see that options depending on your preference okay this is your gel plate squeegee to clean it off well yes okay i'm such a child you really are <laughs> cleany thingy cleany fluid cleany fluid this cleany is your fluid. conditioner to keep it in like good condition oil that cleany fluid um, I also have to the side some stamps. I've got some cleaning fluid too. <laughs> yes. Um, so I've chosen some rubber stamps because you can stamp into your images, you can stamp onto your gel plate. I recommend things that don't have words in because your words are all going to be reversed. Um, it, gel plates are also really good for mirror stamping. Um, that's a whole other video, but they are really good for that as well. We have stencils because you can use stencils on your gel plate too. There are millions of different techniques you can do on your gel plate. We have a range of acrylic paints and Distress Oxides. Again, you can use those different mediums. You can use alcohol inks, you can use acrylic paint, you can use um, Oxides, Distress Inks. What are the big bottles of paint that we've got? They're also acrylic paints. They're okay. the Art Alchemy Prima ones. Okay. And so are they. They're also acrylic paints. The Dilutions ones. Paint. So we have those. We have deli paper. Is this not how you open the lid? It's how you open the lid. It's just these things usually end in mess when you open paint lids. Remember opening the glitter last night? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Should we go into that? Again no, 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 not necessary. <laughs> Needless to say, it ended up with glitter everywhere. <laughs> so I was just watching. We have deli paper. <laughs> I can't help it. I mean, ooh. Looks like liquid latex. It's acrylic paint. It smells like acrylic paint. You really do have to smell everything, don't you? Okay. What's green and smells like blue paint? <laughs> I don't know what. Green paint? <laughs> Such a dad joke. <laughs> I'm sure it's a dad joke or an engineering joke. Right, come on, let's get on with right, it. Right, deli paper. That's just tissue paper. It's called deli paper because it's waxed on one side. Oh, okay. That's quite weird, actually. So you've got like uh, different textures. Yes. Yeah, it's waxed on. Okay. So, A, it's really nice to create um, prints with. Mm -hmm. And B, it's really good at cleaning your gel press for you. And you buy a huge box like this on Amazon for like four bucks. And it's an amazing investment and it'll last you forever. Box of tissues because I have a cold. <laughs> Is that mean, anything to do with gel pressing? Nothing to do with gel pressing. Bubble wrap, anything that has textures are fab. Um, bubble wrap, um, packaging inserts. Could you use hand? You can use, if, yeah, but no. Um, okay. Trivets. Silly um, idea. <laughs> no, I don't put my hands in stuff. Um, all sorts of stuff. You're lucky I don't have my silicone gloves on. I may end up with gloves on. May. Are they the cute pink ones? Yes. Oh, cool. I have paper here. Now, this is a printer paper, but this is not just regular copy paper. This is a really nice quality one. This is one that Hannah recommended I got. And I'll make sure that she puts it in the links in the description for you. It's a hammer mill, higher quality. It just has a nice feel to it. What's it's the sort of paper you'd print your CV on for like a job interview or something? Resume here. Resume, yeah, resume paper. Resume. <laughs> yeah, um, I get it, I get it. Um, so it's just a little bit thicker. It will hold up to acrylic paper and stuff like that. Um, 
so again we'll make sure the links are in the description if you use regular copy paper it's going to kind of buckle and stuff on you you could also use watercolor paper stuff like that but this paper you can buy a big ream of it it's not crazy expensive or anything like that and so you can play around I did grab a Misty 2, um, I have stencils, I have more stamps at the front here, and I also have one of these special Carabelle Studio uh, gel press stamps, so we can oh. just play around. So, what do you want to try first? I have no idea, I don't know how this works, what I'm doing or anything. Okay. Well, how do we do it? Step one is to grab a gel press. So we'll just start with this one. And pick a colour. Blue. Which blue? You said a colour. Uh, that blue. Okay. I chose that. So there are a couple of different like ways you can add colour. You can kind of put an all over colour. Or you can go for a couple of different colours. So we could do blue and purple. So at the minute I'm just kind of adding splodges, I suppose there's no other way for it to kind of be explained. And then you can take a brayer, and again brayers come in different widths, and they tend to be rubber, Okay. and what you'll notice is the smaller ones in particular have stops, which means that when you put it down the brayer doesn't rest on the surface. Ah, uh, that's handy, just keep it a bit more tidy. Yes. So why doesn't that one have stops, that would be a good idea wouldn't it? I want to stop talking. <laughs> so when you use... That's why. <laughs> okay. So I've just kind of put this on and it has splodges. So at the minute it kind of looks a bit polka dotty. Now again, you can do an all over pattern and there are millions of videos out there. I've watched a few um, over the last kind of year. I stopped by here and there. And you can create another pattern. The thing about gel pressing is it's all about adding layers. And as you do your prints, you kind of remove those layers and each print you take will have different layers on it. Now when you work with a brayer, the one thing you don't want to do is just do this because that doesn't do anything. You want to work in a bouncy motion. Bouncy. Bouncy. Always remember you're bouncy. Ooh, okay. Oh, so you've still got your blodges. So i still got my blodges. Can you then just add some colour? Like you've got more purple there than the yeah. pale blue. So you could just put a couple of dollops of... So now I can go back. Oh, this is fun. So Greg's decided he's a mixed media artist, having never done mixed media. Yeah, I've never done it, but I think it's cool. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So it looks kind of like... But you could also now change direction. Right, there we go. So you've got like a nice colour distribution thing going on. And if you wanted to, you could take a print now, but it's going to be pretty dull. Okay. So, you might do this. And so you've added bubble wrap texture. Oh, okay. So what do we do? Print on that or that? You can do both. Oh, okay. Alright, well, so what are we going to do? Well, you wouldn't... The other thing about gel pressing is you wouldn't stop there. You would now, let's think of Put what some else. red in it. I would... Not put some red in it. Not put red in it, because you'll get mud. Okay. If you're going to do anything, you'd probably take a pink. Because you've got blue and purple, and the only other colour that's not going to make mud would be your pink. Um, I'm thinking probably a stencil. Let's take... This one's a nice stencil. Lattice work stencil. And so you want your teeth to be now up. Yeah, to get them out of the way. So you've now okay. kind of got that fun design in it. Right. So you're kind of just building up stuff. You just really. build up stuff. Okay. Quite straightforward. 
What else do you fancy? I don't know. If there's something over this side, if you have it the other side, it'll be like mirror and it'll look a bit odd. So something yellow. Every time I suggest something else, so I can see this like, that's not a good idea. Well, I would stick to these three colours. Oh, I've already used those three, so let me just sort of print it. I mean, you could go back to your bubble wrap. I've literally never even seen this done before, so I really, I literally, I looked through these and thought, oh, they're cool, let's do something with that. So you That's see how you kind thought. of like blended some yeah, of those okay. textures in. We'll grab a sheet of paper. And then... And then you literally just plonk it on and yeah. get a transfer. Huh. You don't put a lot of pressure on. That's it. That's, That's literally it. all there is to it. That's all there is and to it. And that'll then... That will dry. That'll dry. Apparently. That's really pretty, actually. And you've got that texture and different colours and stuff in there. And you've still got paint on your brayer. So we can go in. And that texture is still underneath. So I would go in. And we could take that Carabella pretty stamp that we've got. There's something we haven't thought of. Is where do I put all of these? Over there. Or behind us. It's a hole. Okay. So we could take this Carabella stamp. So for those of you who wondered what Greg got me for my birthday, I got these very pretty flowers. Oh, uh, yeah. These ones are Greg. And I got my Helen Dardic picture that I wanted. He got me the pink acrylic. I one. did good. And it's he a lovely did. picture. It just arrived. Uh... And he wouldn't let me open it. It came one day. He was at work and he came home. I was like, can I open it while you're at work? He's like, no. No. So we came home, can I open it? No. And we had something to do in the evening. Can I open it? No. We sat there all evening and I posted well, on my first. Instagram and he wouldn't let me open till 9.30 at <laughs> night. Not happy bunny. So oh, now I've cool. laid that pattern in. But the other thing is I can take this stamp and I'll clear a little bit of space here. Okay. So, also so what you that. would actually do? Because I would use a bit. So of that's that. done like a a bit of a print onto there. I can't see the screen as a whole. Yeah, it you up. can see it. There you go. So what you would actually do is build that up, probably. So you'd kind of put that to one side. And we'd probably put something over. Put it like later. a different colour or something, and build that up across yeah. the page. Mm. But we've got that pretty texture on here yeah. too. So you um, could do a transfer, get another piece of paper. And print onto that. Yes. Do which will give you one? the different version. Yeah. Oh, okay. Go on then. Do I just put it down? Put it down. And you just kind of pat it. I just kind of rub my hand over. Make sure you've done, you've done all over. Yeah. I know oh. what I'm doing. Sorry, I'll just take a drink. So that's picked up nearly all of the colour off of there. And then, yeah. so you've got a really rich print with the texture kind of effect of that mandala. Mandala? Mandela? One of the two. Yeah. Oh, cool. So what you then do is leave this to set and you use this, you're basically creating your own textured kind of cool papers. Yeah. So as an alternative, like rather than having all of these, yeah, you could... Stamp, you can emboss, we can use it on all sorts of things. So you could, we could also take that stamp afterwards and then emboss just on like this half of it or something and like pick out part of the design. Oh, uh, okay. Very cool. Learning stuff, I'm learning stuff. So like the deli paper now. Yeah, what do I do with that? Is that for clean up or is that for... Well, you can do both because you know you really like that Dina Wakely book, the one you want to cut up? Oh yeah. This will work really nicely with it to collage. So have you put that waxy side down or waxy side up? Waxy side up. Waxy side up? Yes, because you want the porous side down to absorb all the paint. So why isn't it just, what's the point of wax on it then? 
I mean, this one's not great. It's not picking up enough. There's not enough on it. No. Boy, if I put some more paint down, it might pick up what's already there. So you're putting more paint down, but it's, oh wow, so it's still retaining. So that somehow kind of remembers the textures. You push mm -hmm. a texture into that surface and it sort of stays there. Yeah. And the thing is you can't really go wrong because if, you know. I'll find a way, trust me, I'll find a way to do it. <laughs> I'll go wrong. Oh, that's cool. That's yeah. pinky purple. But could you then use that? That fabric or that this paper for yeah. anything in particular? This is a bit like there. the Tim Holtz collage paper. You collage um, with yeah. it. Basically like tissue paper. Yeah. But you see now, because I laid more paint down, it's picked up more layers because it's had so something got, to stick to. Yeah, I'll hold this up as well. So you've got really cool colours there. Yeah. But you've also still got that texture that you put in ages ago. So it's yeah. kind of stayed in the yeah. in the whatever that is, the rubber. All right, right, me go, me go. Um, right, we need to clean it okay. so you can switch colours. Yeah, so now we're going to basically clean up and start again. So how do we do that? So grab me a water spray from over there. Where am I looking? Oh, on that top thing. Yeah, one. Yeah. You could just get up. Yeah, but... The one that doesn't say anything. No. That's fine. That's water. Can you put H2O on it or something? All the others. Yeah, the others all say H2O. See, it just all wipes off. So well, it's not that messy, but it's a little bit messy. But, it's, but I mean, uh, I work on a glass mat, so then it's... Yeah, and I assume the other advantage with the glass mat is that rubber thing, you put it down, it's not going to go anywhere. It's like adhered to the... Yeah, it sticks down. ...to the, uh, the glass mat. Yeah. What am I supposed to do with that? Bin, please. Well, the bin's on your side. Yes, I right. What am I supposed to do with that? Your side. Well, my side's kind of full. And the camera needs a reset. Uh, push your button. Excuse me. Are you moaning about my cleaning? Yeah, I like clean stencils. Even if it's pretty and pink, I still like them clean. Well, Tim Holt said not to clean them. Well, I don't care what Tim said. I like mine clean. Can't help it. I like them clean. But there's some things in life I like to be clean. <laughs> so many jokes, but none of them are appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not. Not family friendly. Right. It's got a bubble in it. It's fine. Okay. What, what colours would you like, my dear? I'm going to go... I don't know, I want to do something funky. I want to do like red. Bright red. Red's good. Have you got a bright red over there? I've got like poppy red. Poppy red. Let's do some poppy red. Right, so I just sort of squirt it out in a mess. Yeah. Oh, that's a great colour. Is that enough? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what goes well with red? Yellow? Mm hmm Black to white yellow. So these yeah. are the um, Prima Art Alchemy and Pesto paints. These. So, I mean, acrylic paints from Ultra Muchness, I would suggest going with a reasonable quality one. We have Dilutions, we have Prima here, which Greg's using, and I use the Dina Wakely ones. They're all... Pretty good ones. The Vicky Bootin ones are good. Um, I'll get Hannah to link up a nice selection in the description for you. So thanks, Hannah. <laughs> Poor Hannah. I know. <laughs> Every time we do anything, she comes in on a Thursday. We film this on a Wednesday. She comes in on a Thursday and is like, "Oh, you guys did another hour thing, didn't you?" It's like this list of stuff she's got to link up. <laughs> thanks, Hannah. Right, what do we do now? Bounce. Oh, bounce. What? With a big one or a little one? It's up to you. It's personal preference. So we just stop for a minute and clean these? They're a bit damp, is that a problem? It's fine. Look, you can like your clean tools. I like dry tools. <laughs> I mean, the other option if you don't want to use a brayer is you can use a spatula on them. Um, spatulas are good. My preference are the new tonic silicone spatulas because nothing sticks to them. 
so I really like working with those. So you could just go here and you could do that. that way you have a bit more control, don't you? You do. The other thing you can do is you can put a flat colour on and then you could put like lines of this on and you can drag stuff through and make like the feathered effects. Uh, oh, so if cool. you think like, um, if you're really into your cake decorating, anything you can do with oh, icing. Well, we did that last time, so I'm going to do this this time. So anything you do with icing. So you just like... You can do with paint. Oh, so are you talking? I was talking. Apparently she was talking. So do I just kind of tap it like that? No, spread. Spread. Like butter. Like butter. Well, so you kind of dig at it because it's always really hard. No. I'm really nervous. <laughs> do you want me to just like get in there? No. <laughs> oh, I've just made orange. No, like long strokes. Side to side. That looks cool. I think you could always add more. Cause it's all about layers. <laughs> yeah. Need more yellow, I think. Well, I have a suggestion in a second. Any particular reason that it's coming in a second? Are we all like waiting <laughs> in suspense for this suggestion? It better be a really good suggestion. No, I was going to let you put a base coat on first. Is that what this is? Yes. Is that your suggestion? Put a base coat on first. Is your suggestion coming in a minute? My the, suggestion is I think I need more yellow. Just put the base coat I on. I have. You need to cover that corner in. Right. Now, put a line of yellow. That's a lot of paint. Oh, yeah, those things. Take a toothy tool and run it all the way down. Toothy tool. Uh, I'm going to get that one. And then, like, so this is a toothy tool. Toothy tool. It's a bit of plastic. You get three. And you a can't pack. see it very well because it's see through. We may have covered <laughs> this earlier, but it's a piece of plastic with teeth in it. And you get three in a pack, different teeth. They come from Ranger. We will link them in the description. Thank you, Anna. So what do I do? I just go down with the wiggle. You can either like. You know, I've wiggled the background. So should I non-wiggle the top bit? No, I would wiggle the top bit. So I do like a different frequency of wiggle. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, yes. Look at that. You don't like it, do you? I do like it. Because I've still got like a yellow streak at the top. I think you have put a bit too much paint on there. So what I've really done is I've removed... I haven't spread the yellow down. I've just removed bits. I don't know how well you can see this. But you could do that with this. No, no, that changes. Because this one's got longer teeth, look. Yeah, I know, but then I'll lose that. I've just done. I like that. Where do I put this? Thank you. What do you want me to do? Towel, please. So what am I doing? I'm lost now. Do well, we do I, the picking up thing business I yet? would drag this down with this first and you can always go back in with this. Okay. So I would drag that. So just smooth all the way down? Yeah. Yeah, you see I'm losing all my paint now. Well, you can always go back again. But I would have... See how I spread it out. Oh, uh, okay. That's quite good. It looks kind of like a fire. And then you can go back in and put your wiggles in. Oh, so now I wiggle it again. I would wiggle it, yeah. Okay. I'm going to have some baby wipes in here. They seem to have lost them. It's chilly, next one. Mm, I think so. Um, can you give me a piece of kitchen rods? A lot of kitchen roll required in in uh, what we do acrylic gel, gel pressing mixed media. All right, so now what do we do? Do we do the paper thing you with can the squashy do paper thing? thing? You could add texture. You could add a stamp. You could add a stencil. You could pretty much do anything. So you really just sort of fiddle with this until you uh, like what you've got. So that kind of adds, I'm just, all I'm doing is slapping this on it. And it kind of creates that texture. But am I going to lose that texture when I transfer it? Yes. Because that's just going to go, but it does yeah. give a nice mix of the colours. So I'll leave that bit there. And then do you want, oh. <laughs> another bin. Why are you giving me the bin? I'm not the bin guy. I don't know, you took the bin. 
Um, and I've got this kind of texture up here that's kind of cool. So do you want to do like a, something across the bottom? Like a stencil again or something like that? Stencil? Stamp? You got I haven't done like... any stamps. How can you use a stamp? Or you just literally put it stamp on? Stamp into it. Yeah, that's why I chose a rubber stamp because a rubber stamp's like engraved more. Okay. So you just literally stamp into it. Do you see how it lifts the paint out? Oh, okay. Alright, so let's transfer that now onto paper and see how that looks. You can grab me some of the CV paper. Resume paper, like you're in America. Alright. And take the boy out of England. <laughs> Yeah. So something else you can do is you could now lay a stencil and you could lift your print through the stencil. Oh, she so put a stencil on there and then put this on. Yeah, so your print would only come through the stencil. That's kind. Of, that's cool too. Do you want to do that? Well, we've got a lot going on in this anyway. No, I'm just saying there's to I'm people there's, this there's options. Let's see how this comes out. It's not a piece of steak. You don't have to bash the crap out of it. Oh, do you not? No. I don't know what I'm doing. So just lift it up? Yep. Because you've got a lot of paint on there. So that's going to take forever to dry. Yeah. So some of that came through. But if you were to do that again, now you've got a lot less paint on there, you're going to get more of that texture. Oh, okay. So if you were to now... So if we... My hedgehogs have got a hat on. <laughs> I can't love you. Yeah. Stamp. Oh, right. So now, okay, so I think what happened is we had a bit too much paint on. So now you're a, your sort of techniques right and stuff. Oh, that's no, right. So you can literally just draw stuff on them. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Where's that stamp? I'm going to put that over That's the right. other side as well, yeah. So we have a bit of like repetition. Which way round did you have it? it like that. The other way. Like it is now. So you want to rotate it if you want the mirror image. I'll push quite hard. There you go. Okay. So let's do the papery what's it. And uh, we'll see how that's different to the last one we did. You just gently pat it. Yep. There you go, you've got much better print. Okay. That looks really good. That does look cool. So there, I think the last one we probably had a bit too much going on. Yeah, you actually want thinner layers rather than thicker layers. So this is print one and print two. Hopefully you can see that. So you can see on this one, we had much more paint, which is going to take forever to dry and less texture. But this one, where we did it again Let's on the same pad. Let's try with print one. Looks quite cool. I wonder if you can put some paint back down in the gel first. Oh, she's just slapping it back down again. I don't know. Even down a bit. Could you do stuff on there? Like... Tricky. I missed. <laughs> like, can you literally just do things here straight on yeah. the paper? Oh, but then you don't you don't pick it up and get the white no. underneath. But you could almost literally. Well, what just, you like, can do is stuff. when this is done, we can take black archival ink, we can stamp over it, and oh, we can okay. add layers that way. So you'll just have a thick, solid base color. Here, I can put some my side. And so we can do stuff to it that way. So Hedgehog Hollow Happy Hour next week will be we'll take these papers and we'll do stuff with them. And we'll create projects and stuff. Mm -hmm. So we'll show you how to use them in your projects. Sounds good. Um, but you still got loads of stuff on here. Yeah, yeah, I'm not finished yet. Handsome devil. Mischievous. <laughs> very, very good. <laughs> what? Nothing, dear. Nothing at all. Handsome devil drinking, handsome devil. Mm. Alright, so do you want to add another colour into that? Could we put some like purple in it or something? You can do. Which purple? Do you want to keep with impasto? 
Yeah, let's stick. Do you have to stick with paint brands no. of any type? So you could you could put like the bright orange from in there. You could put bright blue in. I'll tell you what. I'm not going to put it all over. I'm going to just uh, keep it in the middle. That's just way different. It's a completely different texture to the the other ones. It might be older. What do you want to do with that? I don't know, I was just going to kind of smear it. I don't think that far ahead. I was going to kind no. of do one of these <laughs> jobbies. But like not over the whole thing. And then would we need to add more? That's quite clever. You just flick it the other yeah, way. Yeah, I up. really like those ones. I particularly like these smaller ones in general. I just find them easier yeah, to work Yeah, these seem with. to work quite well. Um... It's a personal preference thing. So now we need to add some texture or take something away. I probably would work with some kind of stencil. Yeah, my ring was open. Do you like that stencil? I don't know, it's just a thought. I'm yeah. trying to remember how these work again. You put the stencil on. Well, you can do all sorts of things. Oh, we should have put this on and then put well, the colour no, on. Well, no, you don't have to. Because what you can also do is use the stencil itself. And we could grab some. Well, I'll tell you what you could do. You'd have hexagonal uh, bubble. Mind your jumper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So you're getting like hexagonal bubble more right, kind of it? complex stuff going on. So the bubble wrap actually works quite well. It's I really like fun. the bubble wrap. I'm glad I made you go and find it. Yes. Of course I have to go and find it. I knew where it was. <laughs> you just didn't believe me. <laughs> Alright, I'm doing another lift. Or transfer, whatever it's called. Print. You're basically printmaking. Hmm. So that's come out a lot less. Because you've you're missing paint here. A lot less on it. So why is that? Is that just because your paint's dry here? Oh, so the paint's set now, is it? So I don't know if we can refresh that paint with water. I've never tried this, but hey, we're trying stuff. So yeah, let's try. Jeans. So I just spritzed it with water. Okay. And so I'm going to lay the paper on top and see what happens. Mm, no. No, that didn't work. That didn't work. Okay. So that's just soaked the paper, I think. Yeah. Okay. So okay. So that. It's, uh, I think that's gone hard, isn't it? Pretty it's much. Dried. Um. Yeah, it's just dry. We've left it too long. Okay. Yeah. All right. So should we just clean that up and do another one. Um, the only thing you can do, as far as I know, to refresh it, is add another colour on top. Because oh, so you're just building up and up and up. So that would pull it off. By. Yeah. Yeah. It's thick too. I don't know why, some of them are coming out like toothpaste. Well, these I got creativation last year, so I wonder if they didn't travel well. Oh, uh, okay. Is it supposed to be thinner, like the, yeah. the red and yellow were both very thin? Do you remember thin. the song, Thick Like Chocolate? That's what it reminds me of. Oh. Thick, it's not thick, oh, it's sweet, sweet like, like chocolate. chocolate. But I'm thinking, sweet like chocolate. Thick like, yeah. thick like Impasto paint. Yeah, what? I don't know. That's what I got stuck in my head now. <laughs> like it's like you're a crafter and not a musician, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I never remain a musician. Although my family are all musicians, so. Can Some... I roll your cuffs up? Because I can just see them getting all painty. Somehow that music gene just skipped me. Yeah, it skipped me as well. I tried, but it didn't work out. I played the flute up to quite a high grade. Did you? Yeah, you know I do. Oh yeah. I was pretty good at it for a while. 
So what does this paper do? I'm still not sure. This kind of just removes some paint. Yeah, it's more porous paper, basically. Okay, so it just removes layers like underneath. A, can we, and we can use this? Yeah. That's kind of cool. So that's got like a nice bluey purple going on with like the other colours so coming around. So I'm just trying it. to so lift some of the lower of layers. Sea ocean y sort of look thing. to it, thing going on. Yeah. I like that. So I'm just trying to remove some of the lower layers. I haven't gone nuts, by the way. I'm holding it up to the light. And as you hold it up to the light, that we have in here, it kind of looks different again. And that one's just trash, just picked up like the last stuff on it. Okay. So the other thing you can do on it, pew, that's the side. There's one other technique I can show you on it. What am I supposed Peeny to do? stuff. Uh. Is you don't have to use acrylic paint. We didn't get tea. We didn't get tea. And well, yours made, missing something. Well, you made wine. I forgot um, the tea. I can't, I'm not feeling very well, so I went with Powerade. I'm trying to rehydrate, not dehydrate. Rehydrate. Mm. So Alright, so should we have another quick clean up and then come back? Yeah, and I'm going to show you one other thing that you can use on your gel pens. Okay. You good? We're good this time. Every single time I come back, I put sit down and then put it like, oh, I forgot to my hands. go on the camera. My hands don't look like this. <laughs> I don't do this. <laughs> How are you so mean? And I'm, can you move over? Oh, but I have a set We're not in bed. You don't get to take over the I entire thing. I have a set of drawers over here. Okay, so I have one final technique. And I have to credit that I saw this on the Understand Blue YouTube channel, Lydia Fielder's channel, a while back. And I was playing around the other day with my new Distress Oxide sprays. Yay! Mm. Um, and... Mm. These are cool. I realised you can do it with those too. So we're going to do it with kind of a hybrid between the Oxide inks and the Oxide sprays. There's a video available of Tim demonstrating these at Creativation, isn't there? Top right. <laughs> Thanks, Anna! <laughs> Actually, there's a few videos. Top right again! <laughs> Um, so yeah, these are really cool. And I have videos coming as well, um, with them as well. So if these, we can find them available anyway. We'll these are the links. ones that you used to have to do this with? The only reason you used to have to do that is nothing to do with the bottle, it's just so that you used to squirt out. But if you don't care, you can just give them, you're well, supposed to put a piece no, of paper No, mica mists, um, you have to do this with because you can't get the mica up the tube because it blocks the tube. Distress oxides, you, if you... Um, shake them up and down, there's a risk that they can squirt out of here. Tim says if you're feeling dangerous, you can do this. Um, if you're feeling slightly cautious, put a piece of kitchen towel over, then do this. Um, because you may get some that comes out of here. Um, or otherwise, you can shake them around and around if you don't want to do and that. Basically, just keep your finger over the top. If you don't do that and this top bit comes flying off, then you can end up with ink or whatever this stuff is. Just Although keep your I finger have to on say, it. Give every it a time I've shaken it, I've never I've had. I've never that. had one leak either. But anyway, mine doesn't seem to have a thing in it. The, do you know what? That orange is the only one that it doesn't seem. I don't know if it doesn't have a metal ball or if the metal ball is stuck inside somewhere. I keep meaning to take it apart and have a look inside. I don't think there's a metal ball in this. They are prototype ones that Tim had sent me, so yeah. it is entirely possible that they forgot to put the metal ball inside of it. But also, I've not had an issue with the oxide not mixing, so... No, uh, yeah, it works just fine, it just doesn't work. Um, so we still have our gel plate here, and what we're going to do is create a fun scene. So, you can take your Distress Oxides, and if we can find these in stock yet, we'll add links in the description. You may have to put an in-stock notification alert. Um, so we'll put links there regardless, but add that in stock notification alert. They should be in stock within the next week to 10 days anyway. So make sure you add that alert. These are brand, brand new, aren't they? These are like Literally brand, came out weeks brand ago. new. But you can Whoa. create scenes with these. So there's a lot of colour in that. I don't know yeah. how well you can see it. You can see it on the, on oh, the yeah, camera. Oh yeah, you really can. Um, okay. Oh, so these things are like... You can also take the ink pads and you can just kind of like... Oh. Because 
Oh, as we're recording this, these are um, oxides rather than standard. What's the other one? Distress. Distress. And because they're oxides, the pigment, the ink, basically comes out on virtually anything. Yes. Whether the ink's black, whether it's black cardstock or white cardstock, you get the same ink effect. Oh, on you it. can have a husband point. Husband point. Oh, that's really cool. Um, Why are your ones really cool? So I've used. Oh, you got it on me thing. They're aprons. They're designed. You got it on the table. Oh come on, relax. So I've used Mermaid Lagoon, cracked pistachio, spice marmalade, salty ocean, and picked raspberry. <laughs> uh, no, sorry, I used blueprint sketch and picked raspberry. And I also say that not just for you, but it also helps Hannah when she's doing it. Um, <laughs> Fair it enough. really helps her with the link ups as they're well. They're really cool names as well. Yeah. It's are. not like like this one, it's not called Pale Blue, it's called Salty Ocean, which they're I just think fantastic. And they're also consistent names between the oxides, the distress inks, the distress oxide sprays, the distress spray stains. So, <laughs> I'm also going to use some stamps, and I picked out two sets. I picked out Nature's Wonder, and I picked out Tree Line from the Tim Holtz stamps. So is there any particular reason we're going flowers? Or um, plants or whatever? Just because they kind of look cool with the effect we're going to go with. I've got a really itchy nose. You always have. You have the world's itchiest nose. I know I do. Has anybody ever noticed when Alex scratches her nose, she holds her finger still and waggles her head? It's so, go on, do it. It's really cute. I'm not going to do it, Alex. Go on, do it. No. She does, look. She goes like this. Now, when you pick up an impression... <laughs> shush. It's true, you do. Right, this is important for the technique. She's holding uh, weapons. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to... So squirt me, I'm not a when... cat. When you normally pick up an impression for ink smushing on your glass mat or your surface, you would squirt this with water. When you're going to do it on your gel press, you're going to squirt this with alcohol. So I'm using isopropyl alcohol, and you'll notice that this gives you a slightly different effect. It's going to give you a more kind of blurry, watercolory effect. Bear with me, it is going to still react. <laughs> I'm just taking precautions. Now, I'm going to go with hmm, a couple trees. It does look really cool. Can we hold that up or it all... Uh, you could probably tilt the mat a little bit. Tilt the oh glass yeah, we'll just hold the whole glass mat up. And then get your stuff out of the way. I just figured you might want to see what this looks like. So you can see all the colours on there and it's just kind of sprayed on. But we it looks, you get a really good quickly, pigment. Oh, yeah. sorry. It's fine. I'm just saying. Yeah. And then I'm just going to pop out a few stamps. Now, these particular stamps, these um, leaves, these come in this sheet. And they are designed to be watercolored, which is one of the reasons I selected them. Um, and they come in this sheet. And they're designed to go back in the sheet just because they're smaller stamps. So I'm just popping them out. And I'm popping out a couple of these trees as well. I'm going to take an acrylic block and you want to take a dye based ink. I'm using the Lawn Fawn Black Licorice. So that's not a archival ink? Correct. So this is a dye based water based ink. Okay. Why is that? Like what would happen if you used... It uh, wouldn't do that. So that's kind of just removed? No, I'm stamping ink on top. Oh, you're putting ink on it? Yes. So it's not the black of the platform behind, that's actual no, ink going down. No, this is black dye ink that I'm putting on top. Okay. This is kind of a fun technique. So I'm just creating my own. And you could use any colour, you don't have to use black. Um, I oh, kind of nice. wanted a chocolate colour, but I couldn't quickly find one when you were cleaning up. So I just grabbed anything. I'm kind of wishing I'd just stuck with leaves, but I didn't. So I'm just going to stick with my... Decision. You could repeat the same one, couldn't you? Yeah. And don't worry about contaminating ink pads. Ink is a suspended medium. You can't contaminate an ink pad. What's a suspended medium? Um, a lot of people worry about going from ink pad to ink pad and that you're going to contaminate your ink pads and I'm going to ruin my ink pad. Tim says, don't worry about it. Okay. So I'm going to trust him. And if I contaminate my ink pad, I'll moan at him. <laughs> so, once you've done all of that, so I've just taken black ink, some stamps, I've stamped all over, 
Um, and now I'm going to take some watercolour paper and I'm going to make a print. Okay, go ahead. So this is watercolour paper as opposed to the CV paper that we Correct. were using. Just because this will stand up to more fluid, liquid. Yeah, it's a really thick, it's almost like cardstock. Actually, it probably is cardstock. It is cardstock weight, yeah. Oh, that's really cool. And so now I have a very kind of impressionistic, fun kind of background. That's way cooler than mine. And so you'll notice that the Distress Oxide sprays like are way that. wetter than where I added the um, ink at the bottom. So this was the ink pad, and so mm -hmm. I have a far drier impression. This is where I did the spray, so I have a far wetter impression. So this is the spray, this side. And this is the ink pad. So the ink pads picked up a lot of like texture from the paper. Sorry, I'm struggling to see. So the ink pad down here has got like a retains a lot of paper texture and stuff going yes. on. And this with this spray is more kind of dispersed and kind of spread out. And so you'll notice it's very different to where you do an ink smushing technique where you spray it onto your um, glass mat and you pick it up. Oh, and you wipe through. So and stuff. this turns them more into like an alcohol ink, and they behave very differently. But now what I could do is I could take this and I could ink it up again. And you see how I've got kind of a fuzzy outline? I could now firm it up uh, okay. into that ooh, firmer outline because I know that's where I put it. And so there's just kind of fun oh, things cool. you can do. Really and fun. as it's still wet, it's still kind of bleeding out slightly. So I can now take, I don't know which other one I use, but say this one. And I'm going to do this while they're wet. But this is what we're going to do more of next week, isn't it? Is we're going to use all of these. Yeah. To make like actual cards and stuff with. But I don't want this to be too crisp. You oh, see okay. How so if you still... set it, if you let it dry, and next week you did that, it's going to be a crisp image. Whereas now, but at the moment you're getting this kind of faded thing going on. Oh, that one's cool. Yeah. So you see how that's happened. So you can see there. <laughs> <laughs> that's really cool. Yeah. So you've got like the semi-crisp. Image. And I actually really like, so I'd only ever played before about how the oxides did it, which is this technique down here. With the but pads. I really, really like how the Distress Oxide sprays behave on the gel press. Okay. I really, really like how they behave. Very good. So that's kind of my thing. I mean, as I say, I am no expert on the gel press. Hannah knows way more about the gel press than I do. And I don't know. I definitely learned a lot with Greg. I taught him what I knew and I learned things it's along fun. the way. It's fun. It's a different thing. It's very Because easy. I was not the expert teaching the student. <laughs> we were kind of learning together, just playing ne around. Yeah, neither one of us have ever really done um, much of this before. So we're going to have fun next week playing with these papers that we've made. They'll be dry by then. We'll make some cards. We've bought some kind of mixed media things. Greg wants to have a go with that. So we'll kind of collage some things. I've bought some collage mediums and things. So we'll play around with those as well. And then you've got the tags. Yeah, We're going to do a thing with tags next things. time. Yeah, okay. So we'll have those to play with. So we'll be doing that. So we'll make some projects using these. So you, maybe if you've got a gel press at home, if you want to have a go with the gel press, check that out. As I say, well, there was that other gel press video where I did, I think I did seven different ways to use the gel press. I showed you how to use stencils, how to layer it. And maybe I was a little bit more of an expert because I did a gel press class just before I did that video. <laughs> um, so you can go and check that one out as well. And Greg was my clearer upper back then. Oh, and I'm not now. You did a really good job back then. I think you even got a husband point in that video too. Did I? Yeah, I think you did. Oh, okay. We were still in the basement then. Oh, I don't know, a long time ago. That was time a long ago. time ago. So you now can- Now in my office. Well, it's your office, yeah. <laughs> um, so you can check that out. Go and have a go with the gel press and then join us next week for Hedgehog Hollow Happy Hour and you can use your pieces and then we can create pieces together. So I hope you enjoyed this week's Hedgehog Hollow Happy Hour. Do give us it's a fun. thumbs up if you've enjoyed crafting along with us. And of course, do hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications of all of our videos of Tonic Lives and Hedgehog Hollow Happy Hours and two minute tips that are never two minutes. <laughs> and, um, Have you ever done one that's two minutes? I think just about. And then- They're usually about six, seven minutes like reviews, average. Reviews, 
tips, techniques, all those fun things. So do go to that as well. Check out the links in the video description below. I also have a 20% off coupon for Tonic Studio Store for the whole month of February as well. So we've got that in the links for you as well. And I'm sure Hannah will put some other fun stuff in there for you as well. So we'll see you all Loads very of stuff soon. stuff going on everywhere. Yeah. Happy stamping, everyone. Bye. Bye.